we already live in a one state. It is a state in which the Jewish majority rules the Palestinian minority. This is a binational uh, reality of discrimination. Uh, I believe the good minds on both sides have to start thinking of new ideas. Forget two states. The Jews exercise ethno-security regime over the Palestinians. So the, the, the subject is not how to move from a vacuum to two-state solution or from occupation to two-state solution. In my analysis, occupation is mostly irrelevant or to, to uh, define the current situation. Because the problem is not only with the Israeli occupation over 67 territories, the West Bank and Gaza Strip. The ethnic, this Jewish ethnic regime includes also the Israeli Palestinians. The Palestinians who are uh, full Israeli citizens. Unequal, but full citizens. Of course, mathematically speaking, if you like, it is possible. But in order for this to be brought into reality, to come about, there needs to be far more effort put into uh, making this happen, in particular by the international community and in particular by the party that leads the international community, namely the United States of America. And unfortunately, this does not seem to be forthcoming. The reality on the ground tells us that what is coming about is the exact opposite, is the binational apartheid reality. But the problem is that this is not a conflict between two uh, balanced powers, it's an imbalanced conflict. One side is much more stronger and powerful than the other side. And the, the international community supports unfortunately supports the powerful side and do not work, do not do enough in order to empower the weaker side, the Palestinian side. And unfortunately, and here is my criticism over my Palestinian friends and colleagues, uh, unfortunately the Palestinians hope, that at least the uh, ruling elite, current ruling elite, hopes that the international community will give them freedom and independence, a Palestinian state, on a silver plate. And unfortunately, history shows that independence and freedom is something that you take and you grab and you do not get it on a silver plate. You have to struggle for. That's it. Now, I find it strange that you think that it will not go through the intervention of the international community. Of course, it should go partly through freedom fighting. And, you know, the Palestinians have, in fact, and continue to fight. At one stage, at one stage, uh, it was hoped that the fight would be moderated, would be tempered by a negotiation process leading to two states. And so the Palestinians, if you like, I mean, when Yasser Arafat went to the United Nations back in the 70s, he said, I carry a rifle in one hand, but I carry an olive branch in the other, and please don't let me drop it. Well, you know, you made him drop. The, the two states that, that uh, I uh, support of is uh, a State of Israel on the uh, uh, 4 June 67 borders with a physical border dividing between Israel and Palestine, including in Jerusalem, perhaps up to 2% land swap between uh, Israel and, and, and Palestine. Of course, 
exercise uh, of um, Palestinian ret refugees return in a meaningful number and fundamental change of this individual and collective status of the Israeli Palestinian citizens. We cannot, I say we in Israel, we cannot continue uh, to deal or to treat with our Palestinian citizens as we do today. So what is going to happen? Well, uh, I believe the good minds on both sides have to start thinking of new ideas. Forget two states. There's nothing sacrosanct about two states. Let us think about Palestinians, Arabs, and about Jews, and let us think about a future in which Jews can get what they want, which is uh, the sense of security, the sense of ethnicity that you talked about, culture, and that the Palestinians can do this. Can we not think in terms of a federation or confederation of regions, of city-states? Can we think not of a situation over a, a period of years, extending a period of years, in which slowly, not immediately, but slowly, we can develop the rights of the Palestinians so that they can come to become equal with Israelis, economically, politically, and otherwise? I would like to follow your idea, but uh, to limit it to Jerusalem. Uh, I tried to promote the idea that let's go and uh, struggle together politically to give Jerusalemite ideas, status, to everyone who is, every Palestinian who is inside the barrier, and to give them full full equality as Israelis. You From want us to become Israeli citizens, the ones in Jerusalem? Let's begin with, with the blue idea and full rights to travel through no, I, I suggest I suggest we begin with Gaza, give them citizenship. The, okay. the international community, by the way, is you. I mean, your taxes, your tax money is coming to us. Uh, and the idea is that this way of helping us is along the road of building up a state. But let us assume a state is not in the offing. What does one do? What do you do if you want to help? If, if help is to continue, perhaps it has to be redesigned. And it has to be redesigned so as to take into account not financial assistance to develop an independent state alongside Israel, but financial assistance to develop the development of human conditions of Palestinians, whether in Israel or in the West Bank or in Gaza, to bring the level of Palestinians up to the level of Israelis. I, of course, I agree uh, with Sari, but I, uh, I do see that there is one precondition before the international community moves to uh, ad adopt your ideas. The precondition is to stop supporting the current state of affairs to sub, stop supporting the uh, Israeli ethno-security regime over the Palestinians and the Palestinian uh, uh, institutions and the mirage that Sari uh, spoke about. From my perspective as an Arab, it's not something that I put as an objective which I should seek in itself. I only sought a state by way of seeking peace but not because I thought that seeking a national state was a thing that was good in itself. What is, for me, something that I find good in itself, primarily, eventually, is a political system in which human beings, regardless of religion or race or ethnicity or color or gender or what have you, live in equality and freedom. These are two basic concepts for me, two basic principles.